Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the Let Us Thank God LUTG Radio Morning Show with Kathy Brooks. Let's win some souls, play some music, and have some fun in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, hey, hey. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord, for thou art worthy. Amen. Amen. Jesus absolutely loves you, beloved. <clears throat> amen, amen, amen. We got the birthdays coming up about halfway through. We got the office up in the last five minutes of the segment. And then there's me, you, and some music, y'all. Let's get our music on. And some of you people think that making your last will and testament is kind of uh, morbid. Uh, it, it's not. It's smart. You need to let people know what your wishes are before you pass. Don't let them be fighting over your stuff. I mean, really, it's just stuff. For some of y'all, you got a lot of stuff and a lot of money. So whether you have a little bit of money, a lot of money, or no money at all, but maybe you have something that's precious, maybe you have something that valued in time and you didn't even know that it was valuable. Or maybe it's just a favorite pair of shoes or a rope. You'd be surprised what people fight over when you did because they're really just fighting over the loss of you. And the fact that they don't have you. And they want the people to know that you love them best. When they don't know that, well, you really love all of them best. And you tell all of them, I love you best. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so um, some may know that and some don't. Go ahead and make your last will and testament. Get it notarized. Have you a witness. Uh, if you can afford a lawyer, you know, get yourself a lawyer. Uh, be careful. Read everything that the lawyer writes. And make him him or her explain it, because sometimes lawyers are crooks. So you better pray and ask God to send you to the right one. And uh, whatever your lawyer has, make sure you have a copy of it. And make sure you have actually a couple of copies. You, what you want to do is give a couple copies to certain people that you know that won't open it until you have passed away. Uh, also put a copy in a safe deposit box. You're like, Kathy, why are you spreading all these copies around? Because it's always, as a, as a good tool of reference, it's always best to have uh, checks and balances. So even if you have a lawyer, you need a balance and a check for the lawyer. So that means you got to have, someone else must have a copy of that. Don't just leave it up to the lawyer. Unless that lawyer is a really, really, really good friend. And you know for sure that they won't mistreat you or your family or your, or your memory. And God says, hey, this one is trustworthy. Well, this one will outlive you, and this one is trustworthy. Or if they don't outlive you, their people will make sure that your wishes are carried out. So, there you go. All right. Here is Gotta Believe in Me. And um, if you got anything, and if people don't love you while you're alive, they sure won't love you when you go. So pray for them. But I don't know how much I would leave them. I'm just saying. Leave them something so they don't fight, but I wouldn't give them the whole pot, not the whole kettle and pot. I mean, no, I wouldn't give it the whole caboose, no. But, hey, that's just me. Amen. I would actually give it to some people that would be blessed by it, some people that would do something with it, and something that would leave a legacy, you know? All right. Got to believe in me, Ebony Archer.
back so filled and it sees you can't win. Discourage is how you feel, but you have a power. Sometimes I'm aware of it. Got other stuff inside, just don't wanna share it. It don't matter now, the damage is done. Just gotta get over whatever, move on. All got stories to make another shed tears. Keep a psychologist working for years. They can get on your vibe, they can get in your head. At the end of the day, still gotta make your own bed. That ain't cynical, it's truth, it's fact. Ain't got nobody 24 hours watching your back. It's better you learn it now while you're young. You only ever really have yourself to rely on. I ain't no hater, I love everyone here But it's a universal kind of love, I wanna make that clear If you wanna love me back from a distance, that's fine Just stay out of my face, don't cross over the line I don't do one-to-one, cause that's not my tone I ain't into none of that sh- mills and boom Fairy tale stuff might be all good for some But I'm living in a real world, this is my one Yeah, this is my one I'm riding through life on the back of the lion a very young age. I wanted that to be no victim. I showed them my rage. Come in the crowd, I take them all on. Keep getting back up to show them I was strong. They couldn't understand why I wouldn't stay down. Shake their heads and walk away. I drop myself to the ground. Bloody and weak, but my battle was won because they showed some respect from that day on. Don't get me wrong, I've done some bullying too. I want to take the time to say, I'm sorry if I hurt you. But if you diss me, then I'm a star attract. If I had the time all over again, I'd still give you a smack. Back to the apologies to those who wrote. We all make mistakes as we head down this road. I ain't no excuses or reasons for what I did. I just hope you can forgive me now. We can live and let live. All have our ways to survive, and that's fine. Ain't right, ain't wrong. All I'm saying is, this is mine. Yeah, this is mine. I'm riding through life on the back of a lion It's with me wherever I go
care, you know what I mean. I ain't been there, but I might as well have been. Always wishing for the life you ain't got. Dreaming is better, huh? <laughs> Believe me, it's not. You're better with your dreams, cause the bubble don't burst. You're blaming yourself, yeah, thinking you're cursed. But no one's gonna love you in the way that you believe. You gotta love yourself, yes, they open to receive. If you shut yourself down, the anger's gonna eat you. You owe it to yourself to let nobody cheat you. At your journey, so change the color to your sky. I know you're gonna make it. Sweet dreams, good luck, and goodbye. I'm riding through life on the back of the lion. It's with me wherever I go. Under the almighty roar, there's a kiddo. It's only for show to make sure I'm not bitten. The mass of the cruel society. No one can touch me.
Alrighty, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Alright y'all, it's about the time for the birthdays. Amen, amen. I was enjoying that song a lot. <laughs> Alright y'all, if today is your birthday, then definitely happiest of birthdays to you. You are so special. You, re you really, really are. Amen. And uh, I just wanted to let you know that Jesus absolutely loves you and he wants you and needs you. Amen, amen. So definitely happiest of birthdays to you if today is your birthday. Here's a couple of people that share it with you. But uh, uh, some of you young, some of you younger folks may remember this person. Some of you may have heard your parents playing a song, a music. Florence LaRue, she is 70 years old today, but she's uh, one of the uh, members of Fifth Dimension. Woo! Yeah, I remember that. Remember that music. Amen. Yeah, yeah. And some of you guys might know uh, Edward Kitsis. He's 43 today. He's a uh, writer and producer for Once Upon a Time, the Channel 7 uh, TV series, one of those fantasy movies. He also did Lost. Uh, I didn't like Lost very much. A lot of people did. I didn't like it. Um, it was getting on my nerves because it was like, ah, oh, it's too many cliffhangers. Just show it already. I like uh, ideas and fantasy. But I was getting mad at the TV. So <laughs> he did a really good job because he had a lot of people going, oh, come on. What's going to happen? You had to tune in the next week to find out what was going to happen. So, you know, they did a really good job. Uh, <laughs> and then you got uh, Ian Meadows, the TV actor. He's 31. Keller Williams, 44, guitarist. And then one of my favorites, you have um, Ms. Rosa Parks. Amen, amen. Today, if she was alive today, today would be her birthday. Amen, amen. Miss Rosa Parks, 1913 to 2005. She lived a very long time. Amen. And then, uh, a lot of people don't know this. Ida Lupino, she was a director. and She's a woman and was a director. Amen. She was born from 1918 to 1990. She died in 1995. I say it like that because... It's unusual to have a woman that was born back in that time uh, to even be a director. Uh, back then, you know, women had their set roles, but hey, she decided she going to do this thing. Amen. She earned two stars on the uh, Walk of Fame for her contribution to both TV and film as an actress and a director. Amen. Praise the Lord. She married Lewis Hayward. All right, y'all. If today is your birthday, again, happy birthday to you. Here's DQC telling you, I need you, Jesus. I need you.
For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. If, if you do not know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, but want to, repeat this prayer confession after me. Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. I confess my sins before you this day. I denounce Satan and all his works. I confess Jesus as the Lord of my life. Thank you for saving me and for bringing me back to where I once was. From this day forward, Lord Jesus, I will be sensitive to how you feel. I won't hurt you. I will obey you. Lord Jesus, I ask you to present me to Jehovah in your name. 
Lord Jesus, I believe with my heart, I confess with my mouth that you rose from the dead, that I am saved and receive you today wholeheartedly, 100%. Make me a light in a dark place, and from this day forward, I will leave this place and share you with everyone I meet and everyone I know. It's commitment, Jesus. I will get this world for you. I pray this prayer to the Father, in the name of Jesus, amen. I receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus with evidence of speaking in tongues for the edifying of the body of Christ Jesus by the will of Jehovah God. Amen. Congratulations. Go to LUTGRadioNetwork.com. Click on the link, find a church, get baptized with water, take your foundation class and your prayer intercessory class. Tell them you got saved on Barack FM Radio. And begin reading the Holy Bible, starting with the New Testament, uh, the book of John. Congratulations. Amen, amen, amen. Praise the Lord. Follow me to segment number four, which is the vocabulary word of the day. Amen. Glory to God. Jesus loves you, beloved. Believe it. Amen. <laughs> 